And we're back with King Ezekiel from The Walking Dead. Make sure you watch part one, too. Cyborg is here, Kari Payton. Let's, Let's get, get buzzed. buzzed. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to Feel Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacey J. Aswan. So, obviously... Or maybe not. Do you still audition for voiceover jobs? You have to physically audition for them? Sure, sure. Okay. I still do. So when you do, like, how do you look at, at, at an audition? Like, what are maybe uh, some advice you give people out there that are auditioning? Do you over concentrate on it? Do you think about it a lot? Do you just do it and forget about it? What's your process? My process is to stay open to the process. Let, let, the, let the words on the page lead you. Right. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, you know, I, I read it a, a couple of times. I I feel like I got it. I I, I record it a couple of times and, uh, and and send it off. That's not true. I obsess a little bit. <laughs> He's a liar. That's liar, not true. No, no, no. But but uh, I mean, because <laughs> Stacy will tell you, I I record. I'll record a lot. Yeah. But I don't obsess about some as, as much as others. But but then there's some that, that you've just got to focus more on. I, I was fortunate enough to take over for the voice of Rafiki from the, the Lion yeah, King. Lion Guard. Uh, yeah. On the Lion Guard. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, from uh, uh, the late, great Robert Guillaume. And that took, I don't know, maybe an an hour of of uh, of going back and forth, listening to the voice. I, uh, I recorded in our, our walk-in closet. You know, mm-hmm. in, in our in, that's your booth. Yeah, right? exactly. Is in my. It's great. You know, all of the clothes. You totally. know, are nice. You know, that's your yeah, soundproof that's material. Soundproof it's a good it's reason awesome. to keep shopping. Got to keep the soundproof. So okay, keep so that, that down. She's right, right? there. <laughs> but yes, Stacy's have to stick together. <laughs> I got you. But uh, but yeah, yeah. So and I and I was in there for a while, going back and forth. You know, trying to get this just right before you find it. Yeah. And uh, you know, and then I finally, mm-hmm. you know, feel confident. You know, to, to get the confidence up to bellow out, you know, that voice and get small when they need to get small yeah. and big when you need to get big. And I knew I had it right when Stacy asked me, was that the movie or was that you? Yay! Then you know you got it right. Then you know you got it right. So if we can ask, so you have your, your lovely wife, Stacy, Beautiful name. Um, who's obviously an accomplished actress in her own right. How does that work with you guys? Um both having that creative, in, I mean, it's, obviously she was a huge help, in, sure. as no. you said, and, no, get, no. and as she a always scene partner. Is. And, and she literally is. She's a great scene partner and, and scene coach. Uh, we I get um, so much insight from her, and I think we both get a lot of juice out of working on her. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Together, she's um, we we have we have two uh, uh, girls, uh, six and nine, uh, Ruby and Maya, and um, and she's really been been uh, focused on them the last yeah. couple of years. That's a yeah. lot of and work. Right it there, is a lot of work, and gentlemen. Yeah. But uh, but she's um, you know always dabbling, and uh, and and uh, I'm always pushing her, you know, to to find those creative outlets uh, for for herself because I want I want our our girls to see see what she's uh, what she does mm-hmm. and and where they get, you know, their ridiculous creativity. Do they have any interest, your girls? In? Oh, oh, of course they do. So if they come to you and say, Dad, Mom, we want to be actors, what would you say? What advice would you say? Or would you say, Oh, this is good. Run! Yeah, literally, the, when, when, uh, when, when you were asking I, that I'm, question. I'm the youngest of five yeah? daughters. My okay. father was also a doctor, so, ah. um, you know, so I, I... You know what I would say? I'm curious what another dad of daughters would say. I would say, you really want to do this? <laughs> I would say prove it. Okay. You know, I would say prove what it. What would, would they say, have to do to prove it? I would say, I would say, then, then, uh, then, uh, do you want, you want to uh, do this? Let, then, then, uh, then do that school play. If you want to, you want to make a movie, then, then write, write down. Uh, let's, uh, let's write down your, your movie script. Let's, let's. Uh, I'll help you shoot it, uh, and, mm-hmm. and, and we'll do, do all of this. But if you want to do it, then you're going to have to do work. it because, yeah. that, because the thing is, is that, is that. There's no way you can make this easy for anybody. Right. You know, mm-hmm. the people who that, that it was easy for, eventually it gets hard for. Yeah. And that can yeah. re- that can tear you apart. Yeah. You know, all I care is that whatever they get into, 
And, uh, and honestly, for me, <laughs> if they get into this industry, I hope they become producers or something. <laughs> or, you know, some Hire high power. Hire your dad. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> no, no. I don't, not even for me. Just so that they don't have to go through what I feel totally. like. Huh. You know, the, the, the yeah. harshness of, yeah. I would much rather them be, you know, the lawyers and makers, engineers. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, you know, uh, uh, computer inventors of whatever, yeah. you know. Yeah. But uh, uh, because I know how hard this is. And, and, uh, and. And, and how much it can take out of you, and um, and uh, but at the same time, if it's truly, truly their passion, I there's nothing I'll be able to say anyway. But the one thing, the best thing I think I could do for them is uh, is is not make it easy, mm-hmm. is yeah. uh, advise them obviously, absolutely, right. but uh, but it's, uh, it's but work. not put it, make any illusions about about the yeah. um, the difficulty of, of this thing. Yeah. You know, I mean. And uh, especially as a, as a woman in this industry, you know, mm-hmm. I just think to myself, you know, I got my big break. I was 44 years old, you know? Mm-hmm. You know, how many times does that happen for a woman? Yeah. She's you know? out in the pasture at that point. You know, yeah. I, I, I know. I do, I know. do not it's... begrudge women this this industry at all. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it's changing, but it's like glacier. Absolutely. It, yeah. it is, it is. Yeah. It's, so, it's so hard. Yeah. But, um, but, uh, but once again, if it feeds their soul, mm-hmm. it feeds their soul, you yeah. know? And uh, that doesn't, that doesn't matter as far as uh, whatever you're doing. You know, if you're yeah. if you're um, the, I knew a guy, a farmer who lives next to me uh, in in Dallas, uh, Texas, for a while. Yeah, he worked for um, Michaels, uh, the um, craft store. The craft store. Mm-hmm. He cut frames. Oh, those every people day. are good. He cut frames. We've gotten frames yeah. from there. They're very good. Yeah. And uh, and and he was uh, and and that and he cut frames every day. Love and that. I'm I'm not talking about in the back of Michaels. I'm talking about at the factory. Mm. He cut frames. He literally cut frames every day. That dude loved what he did. He loved his wife. I remember when he t- knocked on my door and he was yeah. like, "Man, can you give me a ride to the JP?" And I was like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> What's and they, the JP? He, Justice of the peace. Oh. Gonna get gonna get hitched to this woman. Can you give me a ride to the just wow. to get hit. Just but like, he was just. A, what did you say? You know I'm too busy. <laughs> I was like, of course, of course. <laughs> but you, but but uh, but this guy. It's a good lesson. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is that somebody might look at him and be, be like, well, this guy, you know, he doesn't, you know, his mm-hmm. life isn't as glamorous as is all I. You know what? That man is rich beyond his his Absolutely. means. Absolutely. Yes. He is rich beyond yes. his means. You can, and you can't buy that. You can't yes. buy it. You can't buy it. Well, it's and, that duality, rich versus wealthy. You know, yeah. it's like having that. I mean, because at the end of the day, what does any of this mean, right? I mean, Absolutely. You're not man. happy and you can't be at peace when you put your head on the pillow at night. Who cares? Exactly. Yeah. Um, you're an amazing singer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, and you're like, where did you? There's stuff on YouTube. <laughs> uh, there's stuff on YouTube of you singing. And I'm like, wow, this guy can mm-hmm. freaking sing. Thanks, And man. he plays I, the guitar. So you're yeah. a musician. You know music. I, yeah, is this I something, dabble. I dabble. Is this something that you ever wanted to like, hey, maybe I can or just for fun? I I always loved singing growing up. And uh, and I, I love singing in church. But um, but uh, <laughs> the thing about singing in church uh, is that um, is that next to you are people who can just sing their <laughs> mucking really asses sing. off, you know. Yeah, yeah. And so I always was aware of my limitations <laughs> as, as, as a singer. But uh, but but I just um, I love you know kind of exposing yourself that way yeah uh and, and it's a it's another uh creative outlet i love playing uh guitar with my brothers and Good and uh, you, and getting getting together and doing that and every once in a while you know i get inspired and uh and i'll write a song and yeah sometimes i'll throw it on <laughs> uh, on youtube i didn't think anybody was really <laughs> watching it or looking I at was it watching it. I'm like, yeah, you yeah. have your own okay. youtube channel yeah. and you I, just post stuff up there. Dude, i put that on so long ago it's I not on private it. It that's true it's, it's not on private. private it's there yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I do. I, I love to sing, and uh, every once in a while, in this job, in this business, um, uh, somebody will actually pay me to do it. Comes in handy. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and it's so much fun. I, I'll never forget when I, the first time I did a musical. Um, when I got out of college and I just kept going to rehearsal every day, I was like, I can't believe they're paying me to sing, dude. This is crazy. What are they going to figure yeah, out? Not, I, not I, even musicians get paid to sing. In six, in six sing. months, right? it'll be totally. like, I'm doing an album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Maybe one day yeah, when I'm senile enough to think I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so we can't have you here without highlighting some of your characters. <laughs> um, so you have, okay, 
Cyborg, of mm -hmm. course, Black Manta, yeah. Aqualad, sure. Rafiki, Wasabi. So, so many great characters. Do you have any, like, what are some highlights for you or some memorable, whether it was how you got it or in a session, moments about, like, playing those characters? Well, one of my favorite characters is, is Aqualad from, uh, from mm -hmm. Young Justice. Yeah. And I'm really excited so because good. we're going to be doing uh, uh, season three of Young Justice. I know, right? Get down! Woo! It's so exciting. Yeah. And uh, because it was four years, you know, that the, the show yeah. had been canceled um, through no fault of its own. But, uh, but uh through the beauty of the internet and, and mm -hmm. all of that stuff, uh, people came to their senses and we're, we're back on for another so 26 freaking episodes. Man! It's so Beow, awesome. Oh my so God. Yeah, that's great. Good. And, um, yeah, so yeah. Great. But uh, getting that job was funny because because uh, I found out later on that uh, they really did not want they didn't even want to hear me audition for uh, for Aqualad because <laughs> Cyborg had already become yes. had started this kind of Rise, you know, yep. uh, and uh, with the the OG Teen Titans mm -hmm. from uh, 2003, and um, and uh, it's the only thing people really knew me as um, uh, playing uh, Cyborg, and it's pretty much my voice. Cyborg is yeah. just me, really excited to be, you mm -hmm. know, to be here, and um, and so uh, and so they really didn't want to want to. They wanted to go in a different direction, and uh, but they but they at least were kind enough to let me audition and uh and i got the picture of of aqualad and he's obviously just he's he's about the most badass aqualad i've ever yes. seen completely badass yeah. such yeah. a badass and uh and i was reading about his his kind of backstory and they were saying that you know that that uh that he he feels this great responsibility um that that uh that he's kind of a stranger in a strange land because uh he's you know half you know, from from the sea and half, you know, mm -hmm. from uh, yeah. from the the uh, surface world. So um, uh, his uh, uh, and and I also saying that that he was raised, you know, uh, below the sea. That mean that means that English is kind of his second language. So all of this, I, I, I was kind of taking in, and uh, I was remembering that advice that uh, that uh, Phil Lamar gave me. It's like um, it's like it's not about how deep your voice goes or how the, this or that because I didn't change those things as far as myself was concerned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But but um, but as I read that backstory, it, it put me in a very different mood, you know? Whereas Cyborg was my <laughs> first voiceover audition, and I was just like, man, I'm just glad to be here. <laughs> That's the voice. Could right everybody there, just yeah. help me out with how excited I am? Nailed it. That's Cyborg. <laughs> Aqualad was the exact opposite in a way. Yeah. Because any excitement any anger, any frustration, any hyperbolic type of emotion, he, he took that and pulled it all the way inside. Mm -hmm. And so and so it had less to do with changing his voice and more him thinking about everything that he would say. Yeah. And so he be, so I thought he should whisper everything. And this was not his first language. Mm. So he must be very specific in the way that he would I speak. I like that, yeah. And so, Smart choices. I bet you nobody did that. And well, and, and choices. these, these yeah. are yeah. things that kind of. I thought of Data from uh, from uh, Star Trek: oh, The Next yeah, Generation. Yeah. Yeah. You know how he couldn't say contractions. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, and I thought that Aqualad would want to be clearer than than a uh, contraction would say. So mm -hmm. so not that he couldn't say yeah. can't, but he would say I cannot. Cannot. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. And so and so. It wasn't, you know, the, you know, uh, oh, I'm it making a different voice, voice. Yes. Yeah, yeah. but it was, it was a different so feel, and so much so that Cyborg and and Aqualad have had conversations together. I know. And, and, and uh, good yeah. for you, and man. And it's, uh, you know, and it's hard to delineate, which is fun for me. Yeah, that is so yeah. freaking cool. When you record them, do they have you do them? All through us, or do, do they want it to be? I do them both ways. So, yeah. so I, I have the conversation. Uh, there, there are several conversations with uh, with uh, uh, Aqualad's father, Black mm -hmm. Manta. Mm -hmm. You know, you know he's the deeper register. Yeah, he's a cool. Yeah, yeah he's cool yes. dude. Yeah. And so with him and his son. Yeah. You know, he is for his father, and he is for his son. And yeah. so we go back and forth, right? Yeah. And uh, and and how you know how are you not going to do that? That's just fine. I know, right? right? Totally. I know, it's so good. So so, so you good. you do that a couple of times, but then uh, you know just to make sure I'm not bleeding in and out of the exactly. voices, then I do then yeah. I I go back and do them in, individually. But fortunately, um, yeah, yeah, the uh, 
uh, Greg Weissman and Brandon Vietti, who are the producers of uh, directors and writers of um, yeah. of Young Justice, you know, mm -hmm. uh, allow you that that latitude to be yeah. able to play. Yeah, that's really cool. So yeah. great and so such great news. I'm glad it's it's coming back. Absolutely, fans are excited. Yeah, oh, the, you got no idea. Oh my <laughs> god, so, the so twist good. and the turns are so awesome. So I can't good. wait for people to see it. It's going to be amazing. So yeah, lots good. of lots of incredible yeah. stuff. Um, gosh, man. So how do you keep balance? in your life. I was just going to ask You're you. You're all over the place. I mean, we should really? I totally was. <laughs> um I mean, obviously you're you're traveling all over the world sure. doing fan conventions, which we know you love. Yeah. Right? But how do you keep the balance? Do you do you ever just like pull the plug out and say I need to I tell you what, it's funny. It, um, it might be because I'm tired. I don't know why, but you <laughs> asked me this question, and you know, and and uh, and, I, and it makes me very emotional because you know what I do? I take my girls to school in the morning, mm. and and uh, it's hard to believe that you can make people. I mean, I know we pe people, you know, make people every every day, yeah, all over the world, mm -hmm. and it's uh, and it's this incredible thing that really isn't that incredible because people do it all the time but it's but but uh but yeah yeah family keeps me in in the place Grounded. you know what yeah. exactly yeah Love you know it. it's like you know my my six-year-old will tell me you know she was like daddy just don't forget about your children <laughs> that one i'm worried about <laughs> yeah, oh lord yeah, yeah, that was yeah. just gonna yeah yeah i'm gonna be holding it. on her ankle as yeah, she right now walks it's, right into now the audition easy room. times for you well coming exactly. from a daughter who adores her dad yeah absolutely thank you because it's really important to absolutely, set those man. young women into the world yeah. with a good dad you're a great yeah, dad, and thank great. you. You and almost you almost lost it there for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that I don't was good. Mind it. No, the the heart it came keeps out. Me, it keeps me. Yeah, you, you know. know. You're a tough guy, but you're also soft. I love that. Well, and yeah. you and Stacy are obviously a great team. Yes. Yeah, no, and that's amazing. really important. Yeah. She's amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. and you know, I, I want to ask you that. one last thing, man, about this because this is really mm -hmm. important. You do a lot of these cons. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know. I know a lot of the guys that you know do the cons too. It's like everybody has a different reason for liking to do them. Sure. Why do you like doing these cons? Uh, I I tell you what they do for me. What what a, a live audience does uh, when, when you're performing mm -hmm. in front of you know for theater or or, um, or or some kind of live performance. Yeah. You get that immediate gratification. You can feel that energy. You can, you know, you can, uh, uh, it's it's palpable. You can yeah. you can reach out and grab it sometimes. And, uh, you know, on a, on a television show or a movie or something like that, you you don't get, get that same thing. You know that it's happening, people tell you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, but, uh, but the, for me, the cons, it's, uh, I, I love that that uh, I happen to get on this show where millions of people watch and mm -hmm. and, and all of that is awesome. I wait for those moments at, at a at a convention where someone comes up to me and it was something I said or something I did, and it made an indelible mark on their lives. And uh, because that, at the end of the day, it's it's that thing that I'm still always searching for. That person that yeah. came into the theater, that turned on the mm -hmm. TV, what well, they were looking for hope. They were looking for hope. And at the end of the day, I'm in the motherfucking hope business, yeah. you know? Right. And so I feed off of that. I feed off of, of uh, you know, that person who was, who was contemplating suicide. Yeah. And now they say, and yet I smile, and they tattooed it on their mm. arm, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. You know, that that woman in... in, uh, in I'm even in, getting a little misty right I mean, now, buddy, it, because uh, that's for real. It happens, that's it real happens, life. That is it real happens life. all the time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it's like, you know, and, and um, fortunately, these conventions turned out to be another soul feeder. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, well, yeah, and it's soul feeder. beautiful that you have that that awareness of the responsibility and and it's really you know not that you can't live that you have to live for other people but the fact that you are aware no no we're living for each um, other i'm not I living love. for them they're not living for me mm -hmm. but but we live we're, we're living in this thing together yeah. you yeah. know what i mean and yeah. so this is how we get through this is how we get by i love that right i love, I love it so this is the mystery question oh Oh my! And it's in a box. It's in a box. It lives in a box. You can just pick any card you'd like, oh, man, um, and you could read it as yourself or one of your favorite characters. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
I read this as Rafiki. Oh, nice, because Rafiki. that's my favorite one. Yeah. Can't believe I get to do this. Uh, what's your favorite reality TV show? Well, reality. Mm. My favorite reality TV show. Mm. Do you have one? Do you have one? That's a good question. Or would you like a different card? No, nah, because I'm trying <laughs> to think if... Uh, How uh, great would that have been if it was your favorite TV show? That would have been... Yes. That would have been good. Okay, okay. I mean, the ones my wife makes me watch <laughs> is probably a better answer. Let's see. We watch... The um, Bachelor? Um, no, no, no. No. Okay, good. No. Because I was no. going to... No. 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 No! I can proudly no say No internet! We are not watching The Bachelor! They are not in love! They're not in love! They're not gonna be in love! So do you not buy roses in protest? Oh I will not buy yes. roses! I will not give roses! What were you gonna say? You touched a nerve. Uh, I know. It's just, oh, it's Which just... ones do you watch lovingly with your beautiful oh, okay. bride? Okay, yeah, yeah. You know what? If you enjoy The Bachelor, <laughs> I, you know what? Good good for you, and, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm sure that there is so much we can glean mm. from that horrible shit. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, um, we watch. We watch million dollar. What is it? Million real estate millionaire. Oh. Million dollar listing. Okay. Million dollar listing. We watch million dollar listing cool. show. We we like to. Yeah, I like to look at the houses. Yeah. And uh, yeah, okay, yeah. That's res- yeah. That's I'm less about the drama, choice. but I like the. Yeah. And and you know what? I like the. Um, so the do you like the home reno the, shows? The whole reno, there you go. Reno yeah. shows. Um, okay. Brothers. The Property brothers. The brothers. 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 Mm-hmm. And uh, and then the. Um, these are all shows you like. <laughs> yes. Th- these are the ones she makes me watch. <laughs> oh, and uh, let's see. And uh, what's what's the one with the Gaines people oh, from Waco. The, um, um, uh, oh, Joanna Gaines. Jo- Joanna Chip Gaines. Joanna. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, what? What? No. Uh, what? What's it called? Oh my um, God. What's it called? I don't know. Fix her up. Fix her up. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Stacey. Thank you. Oh. Exactly. Are you I handy? Know. Are you a handyman? At I home? am not a, a handy. I am a handyman, <laughs> but I I do not like to start. Oh. I'm. A, I'm. You're I'm the, the closer. Here's the thing. You're the general contractor. You boss everyone around. I like to demo. Oh, Ooh, I like tear to, things up. I like to tear them down, Be, but because uh, but but uh, but I worry about if I'm trying to just build something uh, up uh, up a little bit. It was like I'm yeah. I like hammering that first nail is always excruciating for me because mm. I feel like I'm gonna mess something up. But once I demo it. Then we off to the races. Then we off to the races. All right. Yeah, yeah. Good but to I, know. yeah, yeah. It's all about it's all about housing right now, as far as reality TV. Yeah, well, yeah. us too, man. Yeah. That's what we watch. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Dude, I gotta tell you, man. Before you came here today, obviously we didn't know what to expect. We didn't know if you were be, you know, seriously, because we've never met before. We didn't know if sure. you were going to be like totally cool right. or you were going to be like this, like, all right, come on, I got to get out of here or whatever. But you are literally a joy, the nicest, coolest. Mm-hmm kindest person that we could anybody could ever meet. You are so cool. Your That's mom and great. dad should be very proud. Absolutely. They raised a and fine they young man. And they are. So thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for, for, for saying here. so and thank you so much for it's having me. It's it, another soul feeding experience. I I, I love uh, being reminded about how lucky I am. Yeah. You know, about mm-hmm. how lucky we are. And uh, yeah. and uh, this was this was absolutely a great reminder of that. So thank you so thank much you, for man. having well, me. We appreciate it. We hope the ride continues oh, yeah. for you. And, and uh, it will. We're so grateful to have and you in the world. So share season, the world with season you. eight of Walking Dead is going to end how? Oh, oh, we can't no, tell you that. No, no, no. You, you know what? <laughs> I, honestly, I would. <laughs> Does anyone people... really expect you to answer that? <laughs> really, yeah. truly? Like, come I on. don't know what they do, but some, but they come at me pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, first and of all, I really first of go... all, if you told me, I wouldn't be your friend anymore. We well, wouldn't. You know what? Yeah. Honestly, though, but I feel like we've we've had. I mean, this 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 has been a great day. Yeah. You know, when are you guys gonna? You know, I don't I don't even know when you're gonna air this. Okay. This is gonna air. This is gonna be where are we? Uh, a few weeks. It's gonna be in a couple weeks, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. All right. One spoiler. Really? Well, when is this gonna? When it's February twenty fifth, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. This will be. We can put it after the twenty fifth. Okay. Here we go. Here. Okay. <laughs> Spoiler number one. You okay. ready? Yeah. yeah. Rick. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> we will see you guys next time. We gotta get That's out of it. Here. <laughs> Bye, everybody. What's up, guys? This is Kari Payton, and I've just been buzzed by Chuck and Stacy. Keep smiling, people. Keep smiling. I know I am. There's no water in this. <laughs> Well, that concludes our two-part episode with the awesome Kari Payton. So awesome. What an artist. Oh, what a gentleman. What a treat. Mm -hmm. uh, man, we're huge Walking Dead fans, yes. so it's like for us, this was like a special, special treat. We hope you guys loved today's show. We're going to be back next week with another show for you guys, so check it out. Yes, and make sure to leave us your comments below. We love you guys. Thanks for watching, and just remember, you, you always, always have, have time for a little buzz. buzz. Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demo That Rock. Rock. The voiceover demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit DemosThatRock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz. <laughs>